You're living. You occupy, you occupy space and you have mass. You know what that means? You matter, Jay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yes, you, Ron. You're welcome. Thank you so many. There's your inspirational pun for the day. I'm, you know, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad. You no, know, I'm glad you're glad because you know why, Jay? Because mm. you matter, Jay. Mm. You sound like Patrick from SpongeBob. Mm. I didn't mean to. I wonder if he's in this game. In the land of Maida. Are oh, wow. In, are we in Jersey? <laughs> Everything is legal in New Jersey. <laughs> like Mount Doom. Perfectly legal mountain. <laughs> Mount Doom looks so kind of like nice. Yeah. I kind of would want to climb that, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> that castle is the real it's, Doom around here. <laughs> it's like Death Mountain in Zelda where it's like, oh, it's kind of just a mountain. It's got a smoke ring around it, but it's kind of just a mountain. Literally. So we're here. We're playing Shadow of Mordor. Might yep. us. Oh man, the Malos of Sauron. I hate that too. So honest, I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually borrowed this game from a friend on the 360, and I could yeah. not get into it. And honestly, like the biggest complaint I heard from other uh, people that I knew that had played it was that the um, gameplay was not smooth because it was just not made for the 360 and PS3 gen. It was made for next gen. Yeah. Um, however, as far as gameplay is actually concerned, it wasn't terrible. Honestly, the hardest part to deal with was the fact that just like bringing up the pause menu forced a short little loading screen. Oh, not oh. it was, you know, it, it really stunk because it was actually still really good and fun. It was just it just took too long, you know. Yeah, it's just one of those little hassle things that like that yeah, like just, just mounts up over time. Exactly. It's the smallest thing, but it becomes the biggest thing. I get what you mean. Because it was literally something as simple as wanting to bring up a map and like choose my next right, target. Right, right. That that should never be a hassle. That's part of why I don't really play The Witcher that much anymore. Right. Is because that felt very much the same to me. Fair enough. The, uh, the third one, the new one. That's a perfect swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we just okay? So this is flashback, clearly. Yep. You can tell because things are colorful. Indubitably. Joy only happens in the past. Actual games do not have any color. No, no, only um, brown. Only um, brown and gray. Unless you go from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4 and you add a new color palette of uh, green. Oh, shit. Wow, it's Batman. Wow, yeah, it is. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, what do you think Just you are, you're kid? Oh, yeah, that's your son. I forgot. My about name's that. not Perry, Dad. <laughs> wow. The son just did a dad joke. You're no dad. You're no dad of mine. <laughs> as soon as he, like, starts to lose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, son. Easy. Oh, will you now? <laughs> that's not my son. You're not my boy at all. Did you say diarrhea? That's what I saw. That was exactly Get him, diarrhea. So I'm not going to lie, it's actually been a little while since I saw this part, so I can't remember exactly yeah. how this goes. There's some... Gr oh, okay. Oh, you neat. Know, this keeps reminding me of some other game involving a bat who is also a man. I, I Oh, uh, Man Bat 64 for the Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> um, I was actually referring to... Uh, Batman 128 on the never before seen Nintendo 64 2. Oh, oh, okay. Also known as the Nintendo 66 in some cultures. Right. The GameCube was uh, just the front. Yeah, it was a, it was a uh, drug laundering operation. I was seeing if I could break those barrels. I could not break those barrels. You could not. This is probably not the time to break those barrels. Fuck you. I do what I want when I want it. Oh, shit. Nice. You showed him. Yeah. Boom. Oh, God. Oh, no. Honestly, yeah. just this little bit that I'm watching you do has already shown vast differences in the last gen to the current gen consoles. Really? Like, how so? Just the fluidity. Like, I don't know. Because I played Arkham City a lot on the 360. You know, it kind of felt very similar to that from yeah. a combat standpoint. And similar I, to yeah. this on 360? Uh, it was... What, what, yeah, yes, okay. yes, yes. That's what I'm trying to say, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Is it just me, or do you, like, look barely any older than your son? 
Yeah, they don't. Yeah. Besides the height difference, which shouldn't really matter at his son's age. They look like they've got like an Obi Wan and Anakin thing going on, yeah. where it's like they're they're yeah, they're similar enough in age that they could be like much older and younger siblings. Right. But like they maybe have a sort of father and son thing, but they couldn't really age wise actually be father and son. So this oh, no, is weird. this is present. You are banished from death. I, Man, uh, that's talk about your bummer. <laughs> right. Things literally couldn't get any worse. It's like a surprise fourth act in a movie, but it's for his life. <laughs> Going from third act to fourth act, but little did you know there's a 3.975 act. Yeah. Hello, am I dead? Also, why is it so windy in here? <laughs> Like, like it just won't stop. We're inside, right? Like, what's, what's going on with that? My essence is all over the place. Oh, it's everywhere. It's on the floor. Wow. It's all over the walls. This is a pretty game. It is a very pretty game. Actually, remind me, was this a launch title for PS4? Do you know? Whoops. No, it wasn't long wow. after, though. Because it was within that realm when everything was coming out for both. No. Hey, fucker. Forgive me because I haven't really played or seen much of the new Witcher. I just never was really into that series. But is this very similar looking to The Witcher Three currently? Um, I would say so. I would say in some ways, it's, some ways it's better looking, honestly. Well, in <laughs> stealth, <laughs> press square to kiss your wife. I have to remember that one. Stealth love. <laughs> it's beautiful. Where did you find it? I killed a man for it. <laughs> They call me the Shadow of Mida for a reason. Also, I killed him. <laughs> also, I am dead. I'm still gonna call him Diarrhea. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, so there's this castle. It's just getting really boring, you know? <laughs> Why don't we, like, go up Mount Doom? Sounds like a nice place to take a vacation. Or how about the Hell Swamps of Badmire? Honestly, I know it's only been a few minutes, but besides seeing, like, the, what do you call them, the orcs? Is that correct? Yeah, the Middle yeah, Earth, yeah, yeah. The Middle Earth lore? Pretty sure. Um, I kind of keep forgetting this is actually a Lord of the Rings game. Same. Like, I actually like how it, Lord of the Rings isn't in the title and that it's just Shadow of Mordor in Middle uh, yeah. Earth or whatever. I really appreciate that, too. Like, this is, this, is, this is weird for me, too, because, like, I really don't like Lord of the Rings all that much. Yeah. Like, I, I know if I said that around your girlfriend, she'd probably shank me, but, like... I'm pretty I, I just, sure wherever she is right now, she... She's just thinking like, very bad thoughts about, about yeah, my continued like, I life really, on Earth. really want to slap Jay right yeah, now. Yeah, no, like, I, I just... It never... I, I, I went and saw the last Hobbit movie with you guys, mm -hmm. and I remember right after, our friend asked, asked me, So, Jay, give us your review, give us your criticism, and, and I was like, hey, I don't want to shit on this, because I know some, you know some of our friends who were there with liked it, that was dumb. <laughs> like, and and I I like the hot, what the, okay. Hi. We're gonna come back to that thought. <laughs> what is going on with that guy's head? Oh shit! He hit near my back. Like oh, what? No. Did you what? notice his his uh his uh, mace there is made out of little skeletons? Yeah, I did. What what medieval Mad Max interpretation are you? Um, what Mordor? Yeah, very much so. Actually, assuming that this is currently taking place in Mordor, it's, yeah. it's actually kind of odd to see, like, an actually, like, family living there in a castle or something like that. Because, like, in the movies, you always get the idea, or in the books, movies, whatever, like, you always get the vibe that Mor Mordor is just a place you definitely stay away from in every way, shape, or form. Yeah. But this is showing, like, a more human-esque part of Mordor, like, the fact that, like, it actually used to be a place that... Yeah. Had people living in it. <laughs> I mean, Lord, but, you know, I was—I know—I was just saying, not liking it that much. I, you know, I've seen the original films. I—I I tried reading the books and couldn't get into them personally. But um, like, Lord of the Rings is kind of a story about a world ending, or like yeah. about you know a land, a, a land as it's known, sort of drawing to a close. Like, it, there's definitely a feel that like something was alive there that is has like ceased being alive. Before that story begins, oh shit! Yeah, this is actually pretty brutal, even for a yeah. game like uh, forcing the player to have to watch his character's son and wife die like right in front of him without what a like a fun way to me. begin. Don't tell me I'm next. <laughs> I really gotta go right now. Too soon, too soon. I'm gonna go too soon. Holy face! 
Yeah, Elf Lord. Yeah, right. Hi, <laughs> Voldemort. I don't know why, but there's just something very unthreatening to me about Elf Lord. Yeah. Yeah, so actually, one cool aspect of this game, at mm. the beginning, uh, when he was first uh, over his son's body, he grabbed the uh, broken sword. And that actually uh, stays in the game as, like, your dagger, as your, like, stealth weapon. So, like, you actually oh, use, like, like a, you know, like, almost just a sword hilt. Ha! I really like that. That's neat. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh, man, it's a bad day out. What has happened to me? So you're dead, but you're yeah. banished from being dead, so you're... Yeah, 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 you're <laughs> banished from death. Do I go to the out-of-play zone? Like... <laughs> Weird Yu-Gi-Oh game. <laughs> I'm honestly a very backwards uh, Middle Earth fan because I, I personally have never read the Lord of the Rings books. I just mm -hmm. never had time, nor did I ever really have the interest growing up. Yeah. But uh, I actually, because for like a school project, I actually read The Hobbit. Cause was, oh, yeah. yeah. And I was like, you know, I better start where, you know, J.R.R. Tolkien all start, you know, started yeah. because I was actually a pretty big fan of his. Um, just like his concepts and stuff from Middle Earth, but yeah. you know, I just never really got into reading it. Anyways, so I read The Hobbit. It was really long and tedious, honestly, which, it, you know, after talking to other people, they're like, oh man, <laughs> you read that. So I like that they edit Game of the Year edition even yeah, into right. this. <laughs> in oh a light God. blue. Yeah, just so you know. Guys, did you did you put in the Game of the Year edition? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, let me go to Microsoft Paint real quick. God. Um, anyways, so I read The Hobbit and it was okay. Uh, I got into it, like, by the end. <laughs> like, in the last two chapters, I was finally like, oh, so there's a climax here. Very good. Um, uh, yes, a climax. But, like, growing up, the Lord of the Rings movies came out, and I was an odd child, and I was actually scared of them. Because, really? Like, I, when I was, like, five, and I watched the first one, and what are they called? The, uh, oh, the, the kings. Fellowship of the Ring? No, no, oh, no, the ring. The, the, the wraiths. The wraiths? There we go. Yeah, yeah. They scared the living shit out of me. When yeah, I no, was, I can like, see six. that. They're kind of scary, yeah. So, like, I never really went back to it. Um, but when I actually started dating uh, my current girlfriend, Michaela, obviously, yeah, uh, she is a diehard Lord of the Rings fan, which is all cool and awesome, and I thought it was great that she was a nerd about something. And so, like, <laughs> I watched all the movies, but, like, I don't know, I kept watching the first one over and over again, because I'm the kind of guy that, like, if there's a series of movies and I want to watch, like, you know, number three or something, I always want to, like, start from the beginning again, like, just right. to get the setup. And after watching the first one, let alone the extended edition, it was always hard for me to, like, <laughs> get myself to watch the next two. So, like, I'm very familiar with the first Lord of the Rings. I'm also very familiar with all the Hobbit movies, but I'm not very familiar with, like, uh, what, I don't even know. See, I don't even know, like, the titles of the last the, two Lord of the Rings. There's the Two Towers. Um, there's the Two Towers. Which and I knew there was two of them. Something of the Fellowship of the King. No, Return of the King, Fellowship of the Ring. Fellowship was the first one. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, remember Two Towers because two. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't they do that with all of them, man? You just think. It's so much less confusing. All right, so we got started with Mida. Moida. We'll, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Boom. Goodbye. Bam. Goodbye. I'm going to, oh, I wanted to oh. jump off, like, the side. Okay, no, well, I. Just I'm... hold, hold. And... Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Spread your wings. Fuck! <laughs>